We have allowed these people to build up within our country a cadre of folks who are waiting for the word to carry out domestic terrorism against soft targets with the aim of bringing this country to its knees, bringing it down, introducing it to disorder and chaos on a large scale. See? But don't think about that. Don't worry about that. Worry about what the IRS is doing, as if that's the immediate problem. Not the fact that we're, that we're being set up and that Benghazi was part of what would lead us to realize that the people we have placed in the White House could very well be working a strategy that collaborates with and comports with the strategy of the very people who are trying to kill us, telling us we're not at war so we won't prepare, telling us that we're not being uh, attacked in a way that is systematic and organized and intentionally aimed at destroying our way of life so that we won't react to it in a way that starts to look around and ask why so many things that Obama has advocated and done and is practicing contribute to the disorder and the decay and the weakness that set us up for this defeat. The actions of this Obama faction in consolidating the tools and instruments that would be needed to fasten the structure of martial law and totalitarian tyranny on this country by force ought to be put together with the fact that we are now experiencing the implementation of a terrorist strategy aimed at producing the very kind of disorder, confusion, fear, and anger that would then provide an excuse for that uh, 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 fastening on the country of martial law. Am I getting this across, Stan? Are people thinking now?